Hey, 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 how's it going? Welcome to Rant and Chill. On this channel, I like to rant and I like to chill. Here we're going to be chilling, talking about Nimophila back into the wild. If you're a fan of Nimophila, feel free to look around. I have other videos where I react to their songs and go over their songs and ask what is the meaning, you know, what's going on here. But make sure you press the like button, share, and subscribe. So what is Back Into the Wild? Well, it's one of my favorite tracks, but setting that aside, it is in their Seize to Fade album, which was released December 14th, 20, 22nd. Uh, the lyrics were done by Mayu, the, the front lady, and the composer is Tamu Murata and also Kensuke Akiyama. Now, Tamu Murata said that this was one of her favorite tracks. There was an interview where she was in. I covered that interview on this channel. You could see it there. And she said this is one of her favorite tracks because of the drums. When she plays the drums, it makes her feel like she's going back into the wild. And I totally get that vibe. We're going to we're gonna go into the music here, kind of talk about how the music sounds, what I see when I hear the music, and also then go over the lyrics to ask the question, what is this song really about? You know, what's going on there? Just keep in mind, it's all about interpretation. If there's something you feel different, let me know in the comments section down below. Um, you know, I definitely would like that input. So musically, I really enjoy this song. It's, like I said, it's one of my favorites. That pulsating, tight, rhythmic beat in the beginning. Something kind of like a march. Something like prepping for something. And uh, you combine that with this warping sound. We get a sense, I get the sense anyway, that we're traveling back in time. Imagine, I do a lot of video game references. Imagine Ark Survival Evolved, which I have a love-hate relationship with that game. Can't play that game anymore. I used to play that game on hardcore and things. I, there was a lot of emotional investments in that game, and I can't play it anymore. Uh, or imagine a game like Turok, but except time travel. Or Corona Trigger. Corona Trigger had time travel, and you went back in time to a prehistoric age. I, the song has a sort of prehistoric vibe. I hear it. When the fact when the song erupts with its heavy guitars, churning a riff that has this really nice flow to it, it kind of creates a sense of chaos. It kind of also creates like a primitive sound. I, I like it. Uh, strong, bold notes that kind of like sway back and forth. It's it's not overly complicated in the riff. It's something uh, kind of primitive. But it's strong, it's loud, and it's thunderous. Um, in fact, the thunderous Tamu drumming, when you combine that with the guitars, the it does create this sound that something big and menacing is around us, could be approaching, that we're in the midst of it, okay? And then some other guitar riffs that are happening in the song were, it's like, I'll describe it as like a rain of notes that kind of create even more of a chaotic element kind of enhance that chaotic atmosphere of the song. Um, so in short, what I see when I hear the song is that we are landing in the middle of chaos. Um, and this chaos around us has this wild wilderness, whatever it is, dinosaurs, whatever. I'm not sure. Because now we're going to talk about the lyrics. And the lyrics make no references to dinosaurs. So, I don't, you know, that's just me right there. The lyrics actually start out pretty grim. You know, you know, translated with deep L. And the opening uh, lyric here is, At the end of my weary wandering, I saw a pile of corpses giving up everywhere and everywhere. Is it easy to end? So we do, we are, it does kind of add to that since maybe we're dropped off somewhere and around us we see a lot of dead. Meaning that Others have come to this place and we're following them. Are we it, are we part of some project? Are we part of some sort of time travel project? And we thought maybe we would, it would things would be different. I don't know. The next line here is Have you lived long enough, enough to burn out? Is this the end you wish? Wish with no doubt. Clear tears. Spilling down a ray of light shining in my heart. Now, who is Mayu re referencing here? Have you lived long enough, enough to burn out? Um, hmm. Have you lived long enough, enough to burn out? I thought about this. 
Could it be the sun? No, I think she's referring to someone. Uh, I think she's referring to someone. Could it be the world? No, maybe, maybe. Uh, but I think it's. I think she's referring to someone. Uh, is this the end you wish? With, with no doubt, clear tears spilling down, a ray of light shining in my heart. I I think it's referring to someone. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it could maybe it could be she's talking about the world. Uh, that the world has lived long enough to burn out. And is is this the end? Is maybe like is this the end? Whatever happens, some sort of grand catastrophe, and, and we're in this situation. The clear tears spilling down. It sounds like it's referencing to Mayu or Mayu's character. A ray of light shining in my heart. Not your heart, but my heart. Uh, as in the character's heart. Uh, now, keep in mind, that was translated, so that could be could be a little wrong there. But I get the sense in the song that whatever situation we're in, it sounds like a pretty chaotic one. It sounds like one is really grim with a lot of bodies there, but we're thrust in this into this wilderness um this was created or caused by somebody else someone that um that has a lot of explaining to do and we're in the situation there's tears coming down our eyes because we can't believe all the all the bodies we see all the turmoil all this stuff but yet there's still some hope uh and then it goes on to say you are the only one who could change yourself don't give up on what you've done with your own hands. Come on now back into the wild. Whether you live or die is up to you. Now, I guess she's singing. I guess the you she's singing to, though, at this point is us, the audience, right? So if you go back to what I said before, maybe it's not referencing to, to someone who created the situation. Or maybe it is us. Maybe we created the situation, you know? Uh, someone may have some ideas of what this could be about already. Let me know in the comments section. But maybe it is we're, you know, I said the time travel thing. Maybe it's not a group of people that did this. Maybe we weren't in a capsule uh, time traveling back into the wilderness, into this time to see these bodies around us, all this. Maybe the world was. Maybe the world, through some sort of chaotic change, warped back in time in a, in a way. Uh, like I said, there's no references to anything that would say it is time travel other than that. Or also other than going back into the wild in the sense that technology has failed. So in that way, it would be kind of like a very um, escape from New York or escape from L.A. sort of situation. If you remember those movies where technology essentially, uh, what was it? Pretty much they ended technology and electronics, so you, you kind of go back in time, going back into the dark ages, so to speak. So you are kind of going back in time, but technologically, you know, okay? It being set back on that. We're going to go back to, like, I guess the days of the Aztecs and the natives and all that, you know? Um, and the you, that time we references, it could be us, that we created a situations through our own actions that led to this event. And now... We can't sit around and mope around. We don't have time for that. Now it's time to go back into the wild and take action to make changes to uh, pretty much survive. Survive at this point. There's another part of the song where it says, All back into the wild. We're going to save this collapsing world. Endless prayer be a spark in my heart. That in maybe going back into the wild, we can actually save this world i mean quite literally i mean there's not really I, I didn't really interpret much there right it's like literally it going back into into the wild might actually be the thing that saves this world come on let's go back into the wild we got this we could do this now the problem is i kind of like technology you know i kind of like modern dude let's not go back and let, we can keep modern plumbing <laughs> we can keep that that's not really much there's not really much for technology there. It's, it's actually quite basic. Um, I also like having smartphones. I like having, you know, the ease of being able to listen to anything or watch anything on the go at any time, anywhere. Uh, I like that, having all this information in my hands. But you know what? Maybe, maybe there is um, something about going back into the wild that's kind of... Uh, mm, Maybe there is a charm to it. Maybe there's something about it. I mean, 
you wouldn't be bombarded with all sorts of information anymore, right? You wouldn't uh, be bombarded with an overload with so much stimuli. But the problem is, when you go back into the wild, are you equipped to deal with it? Are you equipped to actually farm? Are you equipped to actually hunt for your own food? Man. Mm. So looking into the song, though, like I said, musically, I get the sense that we're warping back in time. I, I do kind of get that sense in the lyrics here, but I'm not sure if we are going back in time in like some sort of capsule and then we see like these corporations around us from like other people who did that. And maybe there's some sort of failed science project or failed, you know, project of some sort. Um, and now we have to make the best of it because we're stuck in this wilderness, like a Turok situation, Ark Survival Evolved. Or maybe the, the time travel is that it's not really time travel, but maybe a grand scale. Um, oh, man. Maybe something happened on a grand scale that really... Uh, short-circuited all sorts of technology and electronics and now we're back to uh, i guess a wide scale uh, emp i suppose and uh, we are now back technologically speaking into the wild and that we have to make sense of it there Ooh. either way you can take these lyrics and you combine it to the, the music you do get a sense of chaos you do get a sense that you need to take action immediately because you don't have much time in fact i think even the the shortness of the song kind of emphasizes this song is not even three minutes long i really like this song the only thing that could make it better is maybe a little bit longer but it there's so much going on in that one and that two minute, I think two minute and 50 seconds. How long is this song? It's not long at all. It might be two minutes, 50 seconds. Let's see. Oh, two minute and 59 seconds. It is one second away from three minutes. Look at that. It is there. You can just round up. It's three minutes. Look at that. But it's a very quick, very precise song. So with that said, let me know what you thought about this. When you look at the lyrics and you listen to the music, what do you see? What do you feel? What do you think this song is trying to tell you? Um, have some fun with it in the comment section. With that said, you guys take it easy and have a good one.